We are back, finally, with Project Ass 2000, which is now officially Badass 2000. It is, and we are gonna start off the badassery here at Total Motor Works in Aurora, Ontario, full of badass BMWs, along with one very badass S2000. Uh, we're here with Sasha from On Point Dyno, who's going to help us set up and tune our new AEM Infinity. You betcha. Which is just about the sexiest ECU money can buy these days. It's got like super computer brain power. It's got all kinds of cool engine protection features that we're gonna show you. So let's get at it. Let's do it. So why an AEM Infinity for what is currently a pretty basic bolt-on setup here? And the reason is we really wanted something that we could grow with. And we also wanted something that was plug and play. Really the only other m option on the market is the Honda. And not that we want to bad talk anyone, but it is a lot more work to install. You've got to do a custom harness, and you've got to swap to a different K-Pro ECU. It's a fair bit of work to do. Where with this, it's literally plug it in and go. So it's very simple for a couple of simple guys like us. And we also love the fact that it's an all-in-one solution. So we're not going to have a secondary traction control box. We're not going to have a, uh, another separate box for boost control. It's all built in there. So as we continue to modify this car, this ECU can do everything we need. It's also got some really awesome engine protection technology built into it that we'll show you in a little bit. And it's got some other really neat stuff like traction control. You can set, uh, you can set pit, uh, pit speed limiters. It's got stability control. It's got all kinds of cool stuff in there that you wouldn't otherwise have with you know, piggyback systems. So we're pretty excited to explore some of those options. Before we do, we've got to get Sasha to work his magic here to give us a good tune and then we can start playing with that other stuff. And before he could do that, Sasha was kind enough to crawl under the dash for us and pull the stock ECU and plug in the Infinity. As you can see, the S2000 specific AEM harness plugs right into the stock ECU connector on one end and into the sealed and weatherproof Infinity ECU on the other end. It really is just that simple. After that, Sasha spent a few minutes going through the manual and firing up the Infinity Tuner software so we could see if the startup calibration included would start the AP1 up on the first try. Are you ready? Let's do this. Okay, it's gonna fire. First see? start. AM Infinity. Yeah, look at that. Woo! Base map. And she runs. Alright, we're done. Alright, AM. You're all good in our books. As you can see, there's all kinds of cool gauges and stuff to play with with the Infinity Tuner software. And once Sasha got all the screens configured to his liking and the base map sorted, he set up some of the engine protection features like limiting engine RPM once coolant temps climb above 212 degrees Fahrenheit. But more on that in a bit. Now it was finally time to do some wide open throttle pulls and see if our F20C picked up some serious jam. As you may recall from the last time we dyno tested the car, it made 210 wheel horsepower and 145 wheel torques. And after Sasha finished tuning the Infinity, she pumped out a rock solid 218 wheel horsepower and 154 pound feet of torque. But wait, there's more. So we're done on the dyno. AM Infinity, this is your, uh, you lost your cherry with the AM Infinity. This was your first time tuning it. Yeah, it was my first time with that ECU. And uh, everything went as expected. Yeah, once we got the software up and running, it was fairly intuitive. Um, it took yeah, a little time to get the firmware in there and all that yeah, kind of stuff? Yeah, so AEM wants you to register the ECU first, so you've got to make an account online. Okay. And then you've got to download the firmware. Right. And then once you install the firmware, you're able to see the base maps in the ECU and select the one. So it already had base maps loaded in there. Yeah, it was a little bit tricky to get there, but once we got to that point, it was... It wasn't too bad, okay. Was good. That's good. And as far as plugging in and all that, it was <clears throat> as advertised? 
Yeah, it's nice. They're using DTM connectors and everything, and the O2 sensor just plugs right in. And... Sweet. Okay. So maybe we we should talk briefly <laughs> about some of the engine protection stuff because that is kind of a cool feature that I don't think a lot of people understand. Uh, you did a table for us using water temperature. Is that right? Yeah. So the AEM allows you to use oil pressure, oil temperature, um, coolant temperature. You can even set up different. Um, fail safe space on O2 sensor. Okay. So reading versus boost. reading right. Okay. Um, that's more relevant when you've got a turbocharged sure, application. Sure. But uh, yeah, so uh, in this case we didn't have those sensors, but we did do have obviously the coolant temperature. Right. So if it's overheating it'll lower the rev limiter and kind of give you a, a warning on the racetrack just by you'll bump into a limiter at some point that the engine's overheating. And you can determine where that limiter is. You can see it, you know, if it gets yep. too hot, limit the revs to three thousand RPM. Yeah, kind of it's a two D table, so at two twenty, bring it down to six thousand, at two forty it down to idle. Cool. All right, so there are some other cool features on the Infinity, including stuff like traction control, two and three step launch control, and eventually we'd love to get to the track with you to see how the traction control works, because this is a car that doesn't come with traction control. Right. And maybe it's beneficial to us at the track or not. Maybe it's like a wet weather setup. Who knows? So maybe that's something we get to play around with next. Yeah, for sure. But before that, we've got to put our Gen VI TVs on, and then we'll have the wizard of tuning here do it all over again to see if we can make some jam with those Gen Vs. That's go. better. There Good. All right. all right. Nice. You're rolling? I think Sasha ripped a fart in here. Just so you guys know, his his smell is sort of a mixture of raisin bran and bananas. Is that pretty accurate? No bananas. Though. No, no bananas. All right. <laughs> all right. 